Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best weapons to use in Battlefield 2042 Season 7 that have the least amount of visual recoil. Or, uh, you know, that is to say the least amount of this garbage. Right? The M39 EMR is a terrible offender of the visual recoil, especially after Season 7. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be going over the best weapons per category that make it the easiest to shoot at your enemies, if that makes sense. So without further ado, let's jump into the weapons here. If you enjoy the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders. And I want to make a few clarifications before I go over uh, the weapons that uh, we're going to go be going over in the categories here. First thing, this is a working aim trainer, or at least, you know, just a place to shoot bots to get a feel for your weapons. Ben Bits aim trainer in Portal. So if you're looking for one of these that actually seems to work, uh, ben Bits seems to work. You can just search that in Portal and it should come up with a couple servers. Um, and another thing I want to go over is I'm going to show you the weapon setups. And the test bed, or the control site, if you will, I'll be using to judge the visual recoil on is the Fusion Hollow. You might use a separate site than me. If you do use a separate site, such as the, you know, the Hollow or something else here. Not nice game, by the way, Dice. Yeah, don't, just don't don't load the sites. But if you do, <laughs> if you do use a different site other than the Fusion Hollow, then I am sorry. But I'm going to be using the Fusion Hollow as the control site to test things. First weapon is no surprise. PP29. Tactical compensator or factory barrel do not use suppressors. They kind of ruin them on, the, on SMGs. This does not have a Type 4 suppressor. So you can't really take yourself fully off the radar. So just use factory barrel or tactical compensator. Standard issue, high power and subsonic. And for the visual recoil, I will demonstrate it to you. Really just pretty standard SMG, right? SMGs in general didn't really get hit that hard. As you can see, the visual recoil is really not that bad. And if I just, you know, shoot a target here. Doesn't really move that much. So that's the first one I suggest in the SMG category. And I wanted to suggest you guys good weapons with low amounts of visual recoil. I could suggest you something like the AKS 74U, but like it's terrible, right? Even though the visual recoil isn't bad, the gun's bad itself. Um, and the other one I'll, I will say for the SMG category is the AC9. AC9 with any ammo type really doesn't move that much despite its fire rate. For the setup of this gun, RCOM, LWG, close combat, standard issue and close combat. It really doesn't move that much at all. Barely moves, even less than the PP, uh, the PP-29. And uh, I've been really loving this gun. This gun's really good, guys. Do not sleep on the AC-9. I, I honestly think it's it might be better than the uh, the new SMG in Season 7. It's, it's a powerhouse with the new headshot multiplier. It pretty much insta-kills things. So to summarize the SMG category, PP29 or AC9 are my suggestions. For the assault rifle category, the M5 actually does not have barely any visual recoil. Uh, short barrel, LWG, standard issue, close combat, and high power. I'd use short barrel, standard issue. That's pretty much been the setup on this gun since launch. Very little visual recoil here despite its RPM. And have you noticed the guns that you access early on uh, or to new players don't really have that much visual recoil. Like, look. Very, very little visual recoil going on here. So that's the M5. The next one is a bit of a surprise. I expected this to have a bit more visual recoil, but it doesn't. Especially if you have the pacifier skin for the SFAR. Pacifier skin allows this weapon to have a unique red dot sight that is the best red dot sight in the game by far. Uh, but if you don't have the pacifier skin, it, it's fine. The fusion hollow will still have very little visual recoil. And of course on the SFAR, uh, tactical compensator, um, your, your grenade launchers, and then your high powered drum magazine. Do not use standard issue on the SCAR. I see some people going, oh, standard issue. No, don't. It, it's terrible. You want to use high power on the SCAR for sure. As you can see, not much going on on the visual recoil. You know, very, very easy to control. Shouldn't really have much of a problem with that weapon. Uh, even at distance with the red dot, it should be fine. And again, I'm sorry if you use other sites other than the Fusion Hollow. You're just going to have to test it yourself. But for the sake of having a test bed, I pretty much had to choose one site. Uh, for the LMG category, 
Uh, no surprise here. The Vancey's. Uh, the Vancey's just continues to be insane. Um, tactical Compensator, LWG, Standard Issue Extended. Um, you don't really need the Tactical Compensator. I just like to just, I just like to use it because it's got beams. You can use Factory Barrel as well. Not really much going on here. Even when you jump, it's not that bad. So, Avancy's solid pick for the LMG category. And again, guys, I'm going to be making a video going over the best weapon setups for every single gun in the game uh, in a few days here, probably. And I'll be remaking it once the LMG releases. I just like to keep an up-to-date video out for you guys. Um, and I've actually switched a bunch of weapon setups up. Uh, the second suggestion for the LMG weapon category is the M60, actually. M60, uh, very good. And the reason why I suggest this one is because it recently got buffed. And um, it has this front post that even while you're shooting, you can use that as like a general idea of where you are, right? So I, I think this is a good beginner. This is a really good beginner weapon, in my opinion. It's very accurate, especially with tactical compensator and LWG grip. And uh, doesn't really have much actual recoil or visual recoil. Very good, in my opinion, the M60. A weapon you don't see very often. Uh, people sleep on that gun pretty hard, in my opinion. Very good, especially now that it's recently been buffed. Uh, in terms of the marksman weapons uh, and you know any other weapon like strange uh, shotguns and all that, I really don't care about the shotguns. Visual recoil doesn't really matter much for the snipers or any of these. In terms of DMRs, though, they really got hit hard. Um, the sight that I'm going to be using to control these on are, is the uh, Maul Hybrid. I would say the DM7 and the SVK and the G428 are all pretty much the same. Like, if we go and look at the SVK right now, uh, it's going to be a sharp... Um, ex excuse me? Hey. I'm trying to... Hey, man. What the f... Okay, well, if this Riyadh motherfucker will let me show you this... You know what? You know, you like that? So, as you can see, um, there's, like, sort of a sharp visual jump. And then a weird reset. You can see the reset. Sort of lingers in the air a little bit, and then it settles. Pretty much how all DMRs are. Um, some are uglier than others in terms of visual recoil. Especially if you start spamming. But um, I find the SVK and the DM7 to be the ones with the least amount of visual recoil. And the G428, of course. Um, the M39 and SVD are definitely the two worst visual recoil weapons in the game. I mean, I showed you the M39 at the beginning of the video. Pretty terrible. I'll show you the DM7 here. DM7 is going to have a little less than the SVK. But it's still, you know, pretty standard. You have that vertical jump and then... It settles. Then it gets a little worse. If you notice, the scope on the DM7 recoils a little uh, straighter back in your face, which helps to reduce the visual recoil. And then uh, the setup for the DM7 is factory barrel, BCG light grip, standard issue. And the setup for the SVK is, I think it's short barrel. Let me take a look for you guys here. Uh, yeah, short barrel, SCNR laser sight, standard issue extended would be my setup for the SVK. Honorable mention of the marksman category, the BSVM is pretty dang good. In terms of visual recoil, it doesn't move, like, too bad, even in full auto. It has a weird, like, bounce, but as you can see, like, you don't really have to move much, like, left or right. You can just sort of keep that center portion of the sight over their body. And just let it bounce. And it should work just fine. Jesus Christ, this gun is so broken. Um, short suppressor, LWG grip, high power extended. Going to be your go-to here. So, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I am going to be producing a video going every single, going over every single weapon setup in the entire game pretty soon. So, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see that with notifications turned on. Hit the like button. Follow the Twitch stream. First link in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.